Hi guys, I'm Rick and that is One Big Pile of Bricks with our amazing guest Season 1 LEGO Masters winner, the OG, Cade! Woo! Cade Franklin! Thanks for having me, guys. No, thank you so much for taking the time out of your extremely busy schedule to be with us here today. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having me. No, very, anytime. Very, busy man. Very busy. Up what? at 6am. No. No, on at 4am. Up at 4am on the flight Up at 4am, chatting to me at midnight. Because... <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Quick By the time this airs, this is going to air a bit later, obviously. So those who attended our meet and greet with Brickman, that was yesterday. So today is obviously Sunday. Mm -hmm. And we were here to 1.30 in the morning fixing stuff and cables up too. So, hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> it's going to be a great podcast. Hey, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So if I'm yawning, I'm tired, I'm sorry. Like, <laughs> it was pretty funny because I messaged Dan because when I saw, because I forgot about your flights, I was like, I was like, hey, ca cameraman Dan, hey, are you? can you come in and like, oh my God, his flight's early. I forgot, but it <laughs> worked out. Early, Dan. But it's Dan's fine. Like, Dan's yeah. happy. Dan's famous now, isn't Dan it? Dan, the camera. Dan did the a camera. signature. Woo! So, Kate, how has the last oh, four years? Three. Oh, no, no four, four years. Yeah, four. It, for Lego Masters, been for you. It is pretty crazy to think that it has been four years. Oh, dude, every one. time we talk about it, I'm like, because I still remember yesterday. Yeah. Pretty much like yesterday, mm. our first massive meet and mm. greet we did with you guys at our store in John Street. That was May 2019. That was insane. That was really funny because Endemol, I remember reaching out to Endemol and they're like, "What? Why do you want to do? Like, you know, like <laughs> yeah, yeah. you remember? Like, I yeah. still remember it. Like yesterday, they're like, yeah. you really want Lego? I'm like, yeah. And that was before like restrictions were put in place for contestants and stuff. Yeah. And I don't think they realized how much of a value you guys had yeah. and when the amount of people that turned up to yeah. come was and meet insane. all of you. Insane. It was awesome. <laughs> yeah, it, it was, was so. It was, it was just like, and I think too. You've just come off this national TV show that's yeah. filming everywhere. Mm. And this was after you won too, I remember. Yeah, because yeah, you guys mm. had the trophy with you guys. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. All right and it was like... Did we have the trophy with us? Yeah, because there's did. a photo of okay. us. I'll actually send you, it to Dan later. standing behind Dan our will shop put the counter. photo right here. Yeah. <laughs> and you and Henry were both holding that trophy. It was yeah. right at the end yeah. of our day. We must. Have, that's right. No, we picked, we picked it up that morning. Mm. From Mark. That's right. Remember, we yeah. were all they were all frantic. Yeah, Brickman yeah, and Mark yeah. were like, "Oh, you're down here. Take your trophies." Yeah, yeah. Because remember, you were trying to get them to you, and That's it was right. a bit hard. Yeah, yeah, I remember that vividly. You know, one of the things that was actually really special about that for us was, you know, we'd filmed it together, and it was one of the first times where mo just about the entire cast. Were yeah, back we nearly together. had everybody besides a select few. You guys yeah. can guess who wasn't there, but yeah. yeah, yeah, and so that was like really cool to actually catch up with everyone. The yeah. show had just been on, so we were. Obviously, everyone was pumped. Like it was, it was a real shame because I think Endemol said no to Dave and G. Also, it was like because uh, maybe some because weird of, stuff. it was some weird stuff. I don't. I think mm. you remember it was yeah. some weird stuff going on. We couldn't have Dave and G, and yep. you know, you didn't want Bills and Kale in the same room just after <laughs> Lego Masters. So, and you know, back then the controversy around Kale was pretty strong. So, like, we decided to keep him away mm, just because was, you know there was what there was what nine or maybe nine or ten yeah of it was nearly everybody Billsy came down as well didn't he oh you know Lynn was wasn't there yeah I was about to say Lynn yeah, and Matt right. weren't there Lynn went there Billsy was there yeah, yeah. But was Billsy no, Billsy well, wasn't like there. Billsy might not have been there. No, I think Billsy he was wasn't. there in spirit. He was there the previous <laughs> meeting. Absolutely. That's right. Because oh, he's yeah. always there in spirit. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not. You and I both know that. Bills is the reason why most contestants have restrictions now. <laughs> <laughs> That's a whole other podcast. Uh, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> and this will air after Bills is one. We obviously yes. touched it on in Bills is one. How he every meet and greet, you know, if he was like. A prime minister in waiting. There was a baby to kiss. <laughs> Bills, he would be there. You know, yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. and it was so funny. He was in like Japan and New Zealand. It was crazy. Yeah. It was such an amazing time yeah. to share with you guys because if it wasn't for season one, and we credit you guys, and I think it's hard for the future seasons. Yeah, that you know, a big part of our success is that we were around, obviously previous before that, but Lego Masters catapulted, especially in this country, mm -hmm. catapulted the Lego brand to be normal. Yep. Because, you know, being an AFOL back then was like, what's he doing in the Lego oh, weirdo? Like, <laughs> why are you filling those minifig packets? Like, yeah. There's no kids with him. Yeah. <laughs> totally. like, oh, it's for my son. <laughs> yeah, totally. I mean, yeah, it's... um, I mean, that was that was kind of... The other thing was, I mean, there hadn't been a Lego Masters, That's right? No. Like, yeah. So... Groundbreaking. For, for When oh, I heard about the, the UK, show... but sorry, Matthew Ashton, yeah, man. For Australia, there was nothing Well, we hadn't seen that, like though. Like, no, back then, I don't think downloading was such a big thing. Yeah, and, mm. it, and it was like, I remember hearing about the show and going, yeah, sign me up. That sounds awesome. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, but you don't know what to expect, you know? Exactly. So, um, it was so good. And as a viewer, yeah, we just didn't know what to expect. Yeah. They would bring out a challenge. We would be 
screaming at the TV <laughs> going, that's amazing. Yeah. And then we go on to the next episode with the next new challenge and we think, wow, we could never have thought to do that. Yeah. And just watching what was happening. Yeah. Uh, it was all so new, wasn't it? It was so good. Yeah, it was crazy. Like um, after the show, like we did, Henry and I, we did a lot of things yeah. together. Like we, we kind of went almost all around Australia doing... You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you. Uh, it was I'm Rick James Briggs that did the first meet and greet. Yeah. Got to get credit where credit's due, mate. Like, yeah. Well, you know, it was Henry and Kate's skills schmoozing with the people that got them to where they are now. Well, I remember vividly that you guys, were you, I you were there at the meet and greet at Legoland. Yeah. And I heard that it wasn't as busy as our meet and greet. No comment. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because everyone always brings it up. Yeah, it's always Rick's, you know. Like, yep. and I'm like, famous. <laughs> <laughs> but we had a good time. We we all went out. Yeah, for considering up afterwards after the store the event. wasn't a small store. Yeah, like it's a, that was the standard size of the traditional Lego stores yep. I have now, obviously. Yep. But like. It, it was not, it was not a, a warehouse. It was packed. <laughs> it yeah. was a shop, yeah. Like, totally. And, you know, because of the meet and greet yesterday, we met a few people that came to that one yeah. mm. and were like, wow, this is better organised. I'm like, well, we have a bit of experience. We yeah. do have <laughs> That's experience. It. Uh, we it. have, you know, the, just the numbers. We got in trouble from broke. council for that, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah, because we were like, they were blocking off driveways and shops and there was so much complaint, you know, like mm. people just complained, but Where? other shopkeepers were like, Oh, Rick James, and I was like, "Well, just be grateful." Like, yeah. and we were busy. Everyone was busy that weekend. And mm. credit to you guys, you know, you and Henry and the other team, especially Jimmy and Maddie, have that secret mm. source meeting people. And we saw that yesterday. Like, mm. Maddie and Jimmy are like, <laughs> you know, they know <laughs> yeah, how to work yeah. a crowd. They are like great. the mm. best at it. And yep. anybody, and anybody who goes on any future Lego Masters should take note. That's how you meet. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yep. But it, it's a school that you learn, right? Yeah, I think. Um, I've done a lot of so, I design video games. That's what I do. Like in my day-to-day -day oh, job. I you're a model because you're very handsome. I do that too. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, oh, Kate's okay, oh, getting a bit now. red. <laughs> and I, and I, I go to a lot of like universities and stuff and talk to uh, oh, wow. students and stuff yeah. about games. So I, I kind of had a bit of experience, you know, how to like engage people, um, and it's and it's always like, when you're like a guest at somewhere like that like ha being able to break that ice for people so that they can feel comfortable to kind of have a chat mm. you know and and talk we're, about whatever you've got to talk i know about. we were touching on it earlier that like you know certain people have it that mm. little secret source and mm. certain people don't to break through that awkwardness you have to be because like people are awkward they don't want to like they don't know what to say to you yeah, yeah. Like, I'm yeah. because at they the want to have a chat well you're at the time you're yeah. the most famous person in the country you're on a yeah. show that's playing with lego it's yeah. massive yeah mm. like and you have to be the one like, and David and Gus experienced there. that yesterday because they were like, I'm like, <laughs> come Actually, on. No, like. People, people want to meet you. Yeah. They want to talk to you. You've got to yeah. put yourself out there, make the and first move. And they were move. so wrapped because they were like, yeah. cause they, they didn't get any of that. Yeah, like, I mean, uh, that, that, I think that was one of the things for us, like watching future seasons, like mm. particularly over the last couple of years, yeah. was you're like, oh, you guys are missing out on that awesome stuff because you guys, no one can go out right yeah, now. Well, no one can go out and their contracts are restrictive. There's mm. that too, yeah. And you know, like, I think it depends on whoever's sponsorship and stuff. Like, yeah. I think it's a shame because like married at first sight or whatever, like people still want to meet these people who are on a TV yep. show, right? But the Lego Masters is so wholesome mm -hmm. and there's rarely any drama besides a select few on every mm. season. And, yeah. and kids are sitting at home and they they think, oh, maybe I could be like that person. Maybe like I like to play with Lego and that person was playing with Lego when they were young <laughs> and, and maybe that's what I'll do when I get yep. older. You know, they have something to aspire to. Yep. And you're just, you are an ordinary person. Yeah. So they yeah. can really relate 100%. to that. I think it's just, a, it's hard to re replicate the secret source of like the meet and greet mm. stuff because that was like the first one. But, mm. you know, we're lucky enough. We're like always busy. You saw today, like we're yeah. busy. Like, for sure. and even we were like, wow, there's a lot of people here for a Sunday. Yes. And now thankfully all our stuff came in. I'm like, hey, <laughs> and they just turned up. I'm like, oh, you can stay here while we go yeah. do this. Yeah. Um, but it's one of those things too, you and Henry... Uh, the select few of Lego Masters and credit to you guys credit mm. to you and Henry that you guys did a lot of meet and greets mm -hmm. really with did a, like with permission mm. yeah bills and you had, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. you had no one really yeah. to like speak to no other there were no other contestants to speak to there was no one that you could go and get advice from about okay what's it going to be like mm. what do Actually, I do what do I say I mean it's it's funny you mention that because when we were I remember when it would have been I think the American version filmed after ours. I think it was like 
that was the yeah. next season to yeah. film. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we got hit up by a lot of the contestants going, what is this? Like, what, what should we expect? You mm-hmm. know, asking all those yeah. questions. And then season two, guys, we had a similar yes. thing. So with America, um, you said you need a Rick James Bricks. <laughs> <laughs> what you need is meet and greets yeah. at Rick yeah. James. Like, I can hook you up. It's funny because Mel, who, you know, Mel, one of the African-American guys who was on the yeah. season one, he's like, hey, man, do you want to fly me out? I'm like, look, it sounds good and all, but the American seasons, I don't think, you know, People resonate haven't as well. Seen them. Well, this yeah, I mean, thing. you've got to... It, you've got to be really into it to be able to get access to those over here, I think, yeah, which is a sh- right. bit of a shame. I think, too, it's hard for... I don't know how many contestants are worldwide, but I'm going to assume it's over 100 now. Yeah. Oh, With the amount of Lego Masters oh, shows... that Without a doubt. It's the pumping out machine now, right? They're just pumping mm-hmm. them like crazy. We've got 16 in the Australian series every... Well, it's 48 well, now 16. or something. There's 16. There's 64. Wow. Yeah, right? wow. Yeah. Just, just from Australia. Just from, just Australia. from Australia. Australia. And if you include, like Rina said yesterday, celebrities. That's like, exactly that's kind right. of. Even Brickman's like, well, if you include the celebrities, they, you know. That's even more. I don't know how much work they did, but you know, like, <laughs> yeah. they can be on the as point, well. but they're still behind the camera. So. It's just an amazing camera, thing that. Whatever it is. Like, you guys came into a show not knowing each other, right? Yeah. Like, explain to people listening and watching at home how you and Henry actually met. Yeah, I mean that was that was an interesting one. Um, we we had a phone. Long story short, I actually auditioned with somebody else, a good friend of mine. We did the audition. We had you an absolute blast. Brent Waller was my. Who will come uh, on this podcast later? He was actually not my original partner either. Wow. I had a, I had a partner before that. Um, at the time, I was helping make a life size Lego caravan with a guy called Ben Craig up in. Ah, Brisbane. yes, we know we're aware of Ben. Yeah, and um, Ben got contacted because obviously he does Lego stuff. And people were like, do you want to audition for the show? And he was like, would I, I be his partner? I had no idea Ben was meant to be original partner. Yeah, yeah. And um, he decided he didn't want to do it. And then mm. it was funny, like the day after Ben asked, Brent had asked. And I was like, I'd worked with Brent before. Yeah, like yeah. we worked together with um, a couple Video of different games. places. Yeah. And so and, like we were the, always the Lego guys and we, we always talk Lego. So I was like, yeah, I'd, I'd love to work with Brent because, you know, the stuff that we do at work would be able to bring to... Well, and Brent um, is a... Uh, those who know Brent Waller. Yeah. Mm. had one of the best Lego ideas set, the Ecto-1, which sold like crazy. Yeah. And you guys could probably imagine how much 1% of sales adds up to very quickly. Yeah, absolutely. And, and that, he's got that secret sauce so as that, well. That if, 1% of sales goes to him. So yeah. the designer of one of those Lego sets then gets that 1%, right? right. Yep. The yeah. money. Oof. And um, I was the guy who told him to put it on Lego ideas. Did he cut you 0.5%? You. <laughs> no, but he gave me a free signed set. Oh, well, I'll take it. I'll take uh, it. Yeah, you'll get yeah. that like, and you know, you might as well. Yeah. So he was your original. Well, yeah. So you, we auditioned together. So yeah, Brent and I auditioned together. Um, Brent couldn't do it. He was like 10 weeks. He'd just started a new company um, with some yeah. guys. Um, so it was like, I, I just can't take 10 weeks off. Mm. And Which I was like, fair. I'm keen, like sign me up. And so I waited like, I don't know, it was six weeks and I eventually got a call saying, sorry, you're not on the show. And I was like, it was really weird. Like sometimes, like the moment I heard about the show, I just felt like I was going to be on that show. That that show was yeah. made for me to wow. be on it. Yeah. And when I got that call, it was so weird. I was like, I, I heard the words that you're saying, but like, it just That's didn't feel right. right. Did it knock the w- like wind out of you a little no, bit? No, like it was weird. It was like, I, I don't know if it's fate, whatever, mm. but I was just like, nah, that didn't seem right. Like it, yeah. not, like it didn't. And I was just mm. like, I was kind of still ready to go. Yeah. And then two weeks later, I get a call and I instantly recognize the voice. It was the executive producer that we'd spoken to D-Mac? in the audition. Yeah, D-Mac. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. And he's like, hey, it's uh, David McDonald. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> mate, I'm ready to go. And he's yeah. like, I've, well, it's not locked in. I need you to talk. <laughs> uh-huh. I, I, want, I want you to, I want you to, I've got a guy. He doesn't have a partner in the moment. Um, he wants to talk to you first though. And I'm like, put him on the phone. We're going to be on the yeah. show together. I'm like, give, give me like, yeah, give him my number. Like, let's do it. Yeah. yeah. And sh- so sure enough, a couple of days later, um, I get a call from this guy. He goes, his name's Henry Pinto. And I'm like, oh, I know that name from somewhere. Yeah. And I Big looked it name up. In a Lego I, so I looked it up and I was like, the Gundam. Like, yeah. I was like, I was like, oh, this is it's awesome. I'm like, yep. and I was pumped because I was your like, your brain's going to be like, ha ha, here comes that 50K. Like, well, not even that. Like, because I don't think at that point we knew what the prize was or anything about that. Like, like, but the thing was, I was like, man, if, if this is what the show's going to be like, we're getting people like this yeah. on the show, yeah. this is going to be amazing. Yeah. And um, so he calls up. We have a chat and yeah, the, I mean, the rest is really history. We, so we spoke, I think on the, the Friday, I met him on the Monday mm. in Melbourne, like 
basically oh, wow. i didn't yeah. know i was doing it and then it was like you're flying on monday to melbourne and, and both of you had to fly because henry's from sydney yeah. and you're from yeah. brisbane, brisbane. Yeah, yeah yeah so and so yeah met on monday filming on tuesday wow what did it like if bang, you really bang, look bang. over it like being put together and now you've won like yeah. it's been a big like bang yeah and i don't think anyone even like when they announced they were doing a lego show because when they announce any sort of reality tv they have those like headhunter guys you know yeah yeah and they like emailed us do you know anybody i'm like and straight away like what are they gonna do about lego like, without yeah. knowing about the uk version obviously. yeah sure and we're like mm, sounds dumb you know how yeah. you're like it sounds <laughs> dumb yeah and like, oh, it's going to be really successful. It's like, oh, okay. And then once we like... I don't know if these people like, are suited for TV. I mean, that, that was funny because I think there was... I remember at the time, I'm not really huge in the Lego community. Yeah, like, yeah. I kind of dabble. But I did... There was this kind of sentiment before the show came out about like, you're going to take... Like, you're going to make... Laugh laugh at all those AFOLs, you know? Yeah, like, going to make know, a joke yeah. of them. Well, that's fair because the and, AFOL community is a very... Um, adult fan of Adult Lego. fan of Lego yeah. is a very like insulated community yeah, they, totally. don't, they want to go out you know what i mean like no, it's not it's hard to like, engage them right and like, i mean when you say you're making a reality show there's certain connotations that come along with you know a re, what you your expectations of a reality yeah, show and are. it's very possible they could have made fun of the lego community absolutely and mm. it was funny because i remember telling my boss look i need to take 10 weeks off yeah. i'm going on a reality <laughs> show lego. he's and, like big brother yeah, <laughs> yeah and he, he goes i used to have a right my, one of my friends was a writer on big brother <laughs> i'm like a writer he's like yeah he goes, yeah, you don't want to do reality, man. Yeah, like, go always, for it, but... You yeah. know, and everyone's always assuming it's going to be negative, right? Yeah. Because, mm. let's be honest, most reality TV that's on that's not related around a product yeah. is very toxic yeah. and very angry and fighting, someone doing something wrong, you know, like, and all because that sort of that stuff. that sort of stuff is what generates conversation. Well, and it sells, it sells advertising. But yeah. in Lego Masters, you didn't need well, anything like that because the conversation was about the builds yeah. wasn't it i mean yeah absolutely and i think there was a there was two things one firstly i thought it's got the lego brand associated with it. it's not like brick builder masters and it just happens to be using lego like without yeah. using the brand i'm like lego at some on some level is not going to make that it's not going to make maths right no. it's not going to be the maths of lego you're never right? going to get that like so, lego is a big brand right yeah. they're not as big as like apple and disney and stuff sure but it's it most people around the world know Lego, right? Mm -hmm. But no one could ever think like, hey, you're going to have a show where it's like the block, but not really, where they're competing to build stuff. Yep. And you're sort of like, oh, and credit to DMAC. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, I know a lot of people are like, oh, the producer around, but credit to DMAC because he's like executive producer on 90% of Lego Masters worldwide now. Mm -hmm. He has that secret like, and it's just yeah. exploded, right? Yeah. And without people like him going, hey, Kate, I have someone, blah, 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 yes. you wouldn't have gone on the show. Absolutely. And it wouldn't yeah. be like no Lego Masters because yep. the first round and this is why some of the other seasons get a little bit upset because I'm like well if it wasn't for number one we wouldn't be as big as That's we are right. the Lego brand in Australia wouldn't be nearly 20 you Lego stores in yep. the upturn in sales that happened as soon as that show started oh to that air. was just monumental yep. yes after every episode web sale web sale web sale they'd keep coming on through and you could tell by the product they were going for all the classic I was like boxes. classic and creator yeah. you know because yep. I want to create right which is not normally what they would go for in that quantity. So you could tell that they were watching the show and purchasing. Oh, well, yeah. Based it was on just show, like, yeah. and I'll never forget, like, Caroline, like, we did the meet and greets, and we're like, oh my God, this is just insane. And, yeah. you know, everyone was happy, such you know, a like, good mood, such wasn't a good it? mood. Every time we do them or we've offered them, obviously, by the last couple of years, because, you know, COVID. sure, three, the world's yeah. in a weird place. It's been three years since but, like, we did the last big event with you guys. Even, like, yesterday. Someone was like, where's Henry and Kate? <laughs> yeah. And I was like, well, Kate is coming down tomorrow. Like, <laughs> yeah. you know, but it's one of those things can't you say to me, you can't get everybody now because yeah. there's so many people. Yeah. Like, sure. if you had every well, contestant, 64, right? Like, well, if, if you had a, every contestant, yeah. you, you, that would be just the store full. Mm. Yeah. Like, you wouldn't have yeah. space for everybody no. else. And you have to think about personalities. You have to have that mix of introverts and extroverts and, and who's going to bring out the best in the other contestants, you know, yeah. when they're meeting other people. Yeah, absolutely. How have you found looking back now at the multiple seasons that have gone on do you miss being on lego masters does uh -huh. it bring back all those memories like oh wow i less so now i think like obviously see when season two came out you're yeah. like i can see how they've edited that like i yeah. I, I can imagine they actually were doing this you yeah, know like yeah. you kind of because you're totally in that mindset of like what it was like for you mm. um i i love watching the show and like 
seeing people get excited about it. I think, you know, I, we were talking about this before, but like for me, I love the idea that each season kind of tries to outdo the previous one. Like, I think so too. And I think we're at a point where you don't want it to be like MasterChef. Yeah. Because mm. MasterChef, obviously, minus with all the controversy that went on, yep. it got kind of burnt out. You know yep. how it's, like, <laughs> pun intended, like it just got one of those things <laughs> yeah. like, oh yeah, they're cooking again. And yep. it's hard to, foods a hard thing in yep. itself. Especially like, a souffle. <laughs> <laughs> well, knock it and knock it there. Yeah. But, you know, like with Lego Masters, it's very hard not to get caught in the trap of repeating yourself. Yeah. And and I, I actually think this season, season, what are we in, four? Oh, yeah. Yes. Like the, I honestly, like, this is the other thing, having being a contestant, it's, and I guess this is the same for any viewer. Mm. Like you see the challenges and you're like, oh, I wish I was making that. Yes. That That's a cool the idea. The outside challenges this yeah. year. I was like, oh, mate, that's oh. awesome. Yeah. Which challenges stood out for oh. you? I mean, this this season's had some great ones. I'm trying to think what they are. Oh, the magnet one. The magnet's good. That was cool. That looked deadly, though. I tell you what, the yeah. way that magnet yeah. <laughs> slammed down. Well, and also the outside drones. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Drones are hard one because, like, you only can put 200 grams of Lego, which yeah. in yeah. itself that is pretty much that. You're like, picking up. What are you picking up right there, Rick? That is a Lego minion. For uh, everyone who's Stuart, listening. Stuart, Stuart, Dan. I think it's Stuart. Bob, maybe. I don't know. One of them. One of them. <laughs> <laughs> he's got two brown eyes <laughs> but yeah it's like it's so, like lego can be heavy yeah yeah so that in itself but even the high wire challenge like yeah mm. i think for me like the challenge that i personally like are the ones that are like the bigger builds because obviously like you don't necessarily normally get to do that at home right yes. like so it's like I, I get to use all these three and a half million bricks to mm. make stuff and they got a lot more um, lego actually, now the opening one was really cool. The with the the water yeah, that went down, I was it, like, man, that's so cool. And open yes. that going out the gate, just like bang. Yeah. Like, I think. Yeah. And credit to you guys, right? And this is what I try to explain to everybody. Season one, and we remember because I remember the frantic call from the producers. Hey, do you have these like Lego mm -hmm. sets? We need them because back then. They couldn't oh. really get bulk Lego, they and were we were shit. Yeah. You remember, van loads from our they store were, were going. They thought it was all about two by four bricks. Yeah, and they didn't understand you need Actually, like roller coaster pieces, which obviously Dave and G. But like, yeah, I know. mean, it's funny because I, again, like when I, when Brent and I were talking before the audition, because we didn't know what to expect. We, we knew it was two hours, and you got to build something yeah yeah and actually they, i think they told us we're going to be judged on you know the three things you know creativity technical ability and whatever the third one is um <laughs> wait wait you gotta do you gotta do your best I should know that. oh storytelling yeah. storytelling story of course Come on, Kate, and they said the there'd story. be a tw there'd be a twist and yeah, yeah. um and i and, and we were talking because like obviously we know how to build stuff um but we were like i was like it's going to be heaps of two by fours. Like we need to think like that. That might not be what we normally build with, mm. but we need to think like that about how we're going to tackle it. I think it. from the UK mm. version, that's all they had. Yeah, like I basic think they brick, did. Right? And yeah. that's why when you're, oh, sorry Dan, and that's why with your season, that's they had basic brick. Yeah. And I am jealous looking at subsequent seasons because yeah, I'm like, oh, you guys have got so many cool parts. Oh, and then like, you're like, you awesome. see like, I don't know, it was Caleb and Alex, you're like, what? Like they have all these sheep, they have like all these yeah, animals. Because yeah. yes. animals make a big difference yep. to a build if you're building a farm that, or whatever, right? So that was actually really interesting. So on our season, like there was a minifig wall and there's just minifigs yes. everywhere. And then you go, oh, this is cool. Like so many minifigs. And then you realize they're all like city minifigs. Mm. Generic. Yeah. And, you, and you're like, oh, if I wanted to do like a, a Roman build, mm. oh, I what do I got to put mm. funny, like make my, and it's kind of like, it doesn't quite carry no, it. Yeah. it doesn't. And so it, it did actually have like, when you're building minifig scale, it did kind of guide what you could and couldn't yeah. do a little bit mm. with. Um, and you're limited whatever. to what you can do. Yeah. So that's why like, I think people looking back, I think they don't understand that. I think it's a million plus more parts now. It's quite yeah. a lot more like yeah. every season they're adding more yeah. and more. But yeah. That doesn't make it necessarily easier. I mean, it's a different, because then your options are endless and you're thinking, gee, I could do anything. But yeah. I just can't Mate, think of that, on that one show, idea. Like, oh, look at this cool piece! Mm. Like it's the most amazing. Like, like I always, Henry and I always talked about the show being about training you for that final build. Like yeah. everything that you learn along the way, you kind of developing and learning a skill ready for that. Yeah, for that the big, big bang. One, yeah, right? yeah. And if you asked me to today, Henry and I today to go and make, like you're going to get 24 hours go and make a build. It would be nowhere near as good as what we ended up doing mm. because you you literally have all those weeks leading yes, up of course. training and preparation. You knew the brick pit inside and out. Mm -hmm. You knew what you could and couldn't do and what was there. Mm. And so yeah, I I always I mean what we tomorrow night 
is the final yeah, for season so four for us. Today is Sunday, so Dan will leave that in. Today is Sunday. So today is the second last episode, obviously, yep. of season four. Mm. So yep. by the time this goes to air, which will probably be much later in the year because we're feel here, <laughs> yep. but like we have a prediction and we're not going to say it because I don't want to, you know. No, like, no. Everyone's... Like we suspect who's going to win and we suspect who's going to get eliminated because I don't know nothing about Lego Masters. We've just been around it for so long. Mm -hmm. But from your experience, we kind of can see now, yep. mm, particularly the editing. Uh, the editing yeah. guys are so bad. Like, And you can see, like, you, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They're bad. They like, just have oh, to they're telling a story. The winning build for you guys, bang, first episode as the ad. Like, that was oh, always like, a surprise for us. Like, we're like, <laughs> yeah. what are you doing? Like, come on, keep it down. <laughs> and then you can sort of see, like, because you and Henry have a certain build style. Yep. And in your brain, you know like, who's who's is who's. Like, look right? at Henry and Joss are the same deal, right? Those yep. guys are like mm, wow. credit to those boys. They mm. are like they understand mm. the fine crazy minute building. Detail. I've been I've been following Joss's Instagram yeah, for, me eight too, for years. a long, yeah. long time. Yeah, and he's like, like he's not an old guy, but he's a seasoned A four, yeah. right? Mm. And when you're a seasoned A four, and as well, he's perceived yeah. on TV. It's just like mm. it's he's funny. He's killing it. You say he's like a he's a seasoned A four, and he totally is. But he's kind of of this new era of mm. building. Like you see the serpents and like yes. stuff that he makes, and like you look at his Instagram, it's all really organic, mm. really dynamic, showing lots of energy. The yes. flow, and that's, like to make yeah. things flow and move. Mm. Like Legos are a bit different now, obviously, yeah. than ten years ago. Yeah. The bricks that we have now, the parts we have now, mm. yeah. Like they make Lego do this thing where they, if they want a wheel arch, they'll just make a new one. Yeah, yeah. where he, the bricks he uses, and you sit mm. back and you go. Yeah. Like, I feel intimidated and mm, like, but, I don't really build much, but you're like, wow, this guy's like an artist. Him yep. building, though, the serpents and the dragons that he loves to build is a specific skill set, which can easily be transferred to building a chameleon, mm. to building a lizard, to building But this, also, too, it can be a risk, slot, right? Being you know? a select builder. Like, uh, you, I but think so. It's versatile in a way, right? Whereas if you're someone who is just making, like, I don't know, larger scale, say, faces or something, then you're limited by that, even in terms of scale. Is there Whereas, anyone you want to... No. Call? No. No one at all. <laughs> I was no. waiting for a... No oh, this person all. on this no, season, no, blah. I'm talking about <laughs> their skill set. But how do you, like, in all honesty, looking on, like, every season, do you think Henry and you would have a chance against Henry and Joss? Joss? Joss, yeah. Joss. Yeah, Joss. Um, I have to say yes. Mm. I have to say yes because... Oh. Um, bing, bing. We're going to organise this. <laughs> I mean, no, no, no. We wouldn't do but, that to you. But I would, would we? I always say that the final build is actually as good as the second best team, because in the competition, yeah, right, yeah, in yeah. the competition, and that's actually what gets me excited. Mm. Like I love um, David and Gus's stuff in season three. Yeah. That stuff, like the way those guys were creating animals, that was inspiring. Mm. Like it was just amazing, and I would love to be in the competition where I, Henry and I, get to build against those guys and. Whoever else, mm. you yeah. know, all, all of the best, the best of the best, because I think that would have everyone lift their game, mm. like not just, you know, you know what I mean, like, I, yeah, yeah, and that to me exactly. is actually well, you think what I get excited. We're about. in four seasons you, in yes. now, right? So say, let's say hypothetically, there's no season five. Like, there's yeah. going to be, let, let's mm. just pretend right now there's not. So if they took the two top teams from every season from one to mm -hmm. four, that's your sixteen contestants, right? Yeah. Now. yeah, that'd be pretty cool. That would be an amazing show because one. Yeah. People either, you know, you could look at people from the first season to the second. These guys might not talk to each other anymore. Yeah. Even though they won or came second, like, Things coming second's hard. Like, yep. it's not easy. Oh, uh, it's not yeah. Fair. Like, everyone as a kid gets told, oh, it's okay, but no matter yep. how old you are, you it's could be 100. Post. But just missing out by that one whisker, and you've seen it with David G. Unfortunately for those guys, it hurt them, and I don't yep. blame them because yep. for three months, because no one finds was, out who wins it until was it like, airs. Yeah. I think it was like six months. We waited almost. Right. And like, then, it was like, crazy. A lot of people don't realize you get the call in the morning, right? That yeah, you're the, the winner because they have the to prepare you. Like, don't have a heart yeah, attack. Because, yeah, because I mean, it's they law. Set you up. I think it's something sort of law. They have to tell you they can't they can't announce it live. You have to know a certain hour. Someone's telling me they have to say. We yeah. To well, I mean, for us, it, I mean, the practicality is they 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 would set it up like you know on Friday or whatever day um, you're going to be flown to Channel Nine to do the interviews and stuff. So yes. you need to be you need to be. You need to know yeah. that that's coming, mm. but you may not. But it might not be you, right? Yeah. So yeah, you don't actually get that call to say, "Yep, okay, you know." So they must book back, the back flights and then cancel them if you don't win, right? Would that be a thing? Especially like Dave and G coming from I, Perth, like that would be difficult. That might be a question. I don't. Jay doesn't know the answer. I to. actually don't know. Like, I guess it depends if they are. Uh, they just 
know who won and they've already done it. Yeah. Like, mm. I don't know. Who knows? They would know in advance, right? You like, would, you'd think we'll so. Like, they've cut the final, right? Like, it's not live. Ask some questions. Well, some we'll have to pick... We'll do some investigating because I would like to get... In the future, my aim is to get, like, the second place teams on the podcast because I want to see how they felt coming second because it's hard. I... Yeah, I mean, the, the thing that's disappointing about the show's format, I guess, is that if you come second... Mm. You've or even yeah. third. Yeah. You have tried. You have fought as hard as everyone else nothing. to get to yes. the final thing, and you literally walk away with nothing we other than obviously the experience. I, yeah, of course, some feedback I right. would give to the show is that maybe they should do a hundred grand for the winners, fifty k for the second, so and then just go thing. half and half and half yep. because, like, three months of your time, mm. like, and yep. like. I'm not knocking the show. It's been extremely oh. great for Caroline. I. It's been great for you because you won. You yep. might get a wider pool of applicants. But you might get a wider pool of applicants. You're going to get much more talented people. Because some people like yourself, like you're a talented dude. It takes a lot for you to step away from video games, yep. which is a massive industry in itself, mm-hmm. to be away from 10 weeks. Because 10 weeks is like a lifetime in video games. Yep. Like mm. you got to make it worth it. And you've yep. you got young kids now, but you had even younger kids yep. when you were filming, right? I remember. Yep. Yeah. Well, I had I had one kid, and uh, the other one, one might have been conceived on a home visit. I don't know. <laughs> the dates might just Ooh, line up. Date. A, real Leg- a real Lego Masters Can you baby. Cut that as the <laughs> promo. <laughs> but like. I don't know if you want to talk about it, but we can, or we can touch on it, or Dan sure, can edit sure. it out. Like, tell everybody what happened with Hamish and the home visit. Do you remember? <laughs> uh, when it, when, oh, yeah. Oh. Are you talking about on set? Yeah. No, oh, no, his home visit. Well, Hamish. Hey, well, wait, wasn't Hamish, there for that. Is Hamish <laughs> hey, your son's father? Like, <laughs> 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 sorry, Mel. Sorry, Mel. Uh. <laughs> Let's do it. Um, are you talking about what happened in the ep- final episode? Yeah. Yeah. Episode, I mean, so yeah. yeah, final episode. Like, it's funny. Like the the three final teams were like. We were talking like, are they going to get like our families in? Yeah, like, that's this because no you know, one knew, right? Like, and and you know, you, they do that. Master Chef, they yeah. get their families to come in, and like, you know, some of the guys, David and G, had been from WA. Mm. They hadn't been home for the whole time, especially Dave because he's got kids. Yeah, yeah, and um, yeah, Henry and I had seen our families. They actually, we flew back every fortnight to see our families because our yep, kids were a bit younger than Dave, mm. so yeah. they had to do that. Um, and so yeah, obviously the final <laughs> final episodes filming and. Um, Hamish says, oh, we've got, what does he say? We've got, we've got a loved one or something. Yeah, what did he so say? Yeah, I right. actually That's remember something yeah. like that. Like so He said something. Yeah. We've got loved one. I like it's the finalist, you know, one. this is, you've been working up to this one. What you need is a hug from a loved one. Oh. <laughs> and, and, you know, like, honestly, I'm there, Smiling. I'm there going, man, but I'm so like, for one, we are so proud. Every every single team yeah. is so proud about what they've been able to yeah. do. And we haven't really been able to talk about it or show it yeah, off in any can't. way. Yeah, NDAs and right? all that stuff, right? So we're going, our families are about to come out. This is, oh, to see my son, like he's going to be like, this is going to blow him away, you know, and the door goes up, the smoke's coming out. I'm like, I'm like choking up. Like my family's about to come out mm. and some lady comes out. I'm like, what is going on? <laughs> And it's Hamish's mum, and it's like his, it's his, his loved mom. one, and we get to get a hug. And I'm like, I'm destroyed. And I said, yeah. and afterwards, Hamish was talking to the crew backstage, and he goes, yeah, Kate said that, that was, um, it was really cool. And they're like, no, he said it was really cruel. And <laughs> Hamish was like, oh, okay, that was a bit awkward. Because, because uh, it was. Because I heard yes. through the grapevine without, you know, second and third hand information is always yeah, a bit sure. weird. But I heard that you had a moment and you had a bit of a meltdown because you're like, oh, I yeah. haven't seen my family. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Like, like it was. Like, I think it took me probably, it felt like mm. probably longer than it was. But it like, it felt like half an hour of just like, just trying to yeah. get like back to focusing on. Well, and calming what yourself you're doing. down, right? Yeah. Because you've been hyped up. You're going to like see Mel and your kids. That's it. Like kid as, back then. Like, yeah. but you know, like that's yeah. emotional. Yeah. As oh. a viewer, we were feeling the emotion oh, dude, for yeah. you. We were <laughs> hoping that, oh yeah, they're going to bring out your loved one. Oh, oh this is going to be dude. so nice. And then it happens and Hamish's mother comes out and we instantly <laughs> we were, like, were just deflated. I can't say the words that were said <laughs> we in that room because like, we were at the, shout out to Legoland. We were at mm. the Legoland. They did a finale screening. Yeah, there, yeah. there was a few oh, Victorian yeah, guys yeah. there, right? That's right. And Miller got up and Miller was like, couple of choice words and he was like that was so bad poor Cade yeah because you know like we were we're all fit because I could see on your face and then later I said to um, Miller and Geordie 
and Caitlin was there at the time. Mm-hmm. I said like, like I like I don't know if kids and I felt the like punch, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, like that oh was my really god, poor Cade, like, like I mean, yeah, I mean it it was pretty emotional and it did take me out of it, but mm. and yeah, I, it was devastating. But at the same time, you just like like. It was the joke. F you, you know. Hamish. You yeah. Know, you know, <laughs> you got me. And, you got me. You know, you know and they learn. I don't think they've done that things, since, right? Because they learned from the first time. Mm. They had, <laughs> I don't know if you remember last season, yes. they had the iPads yes, for, um, yes. yeah. <laughs> Gus, and, <laughs> Gus, that was so that funny. That was so funny. Yeah. It's, yeah it was because good. they had, um, uh, David's family from yeah. Columbia, right? Yep. Was, they were talking That's in right. real time and he didn't realise he thought it was a recording and he's like, <laughs> oh, no, oh, you're there? Yeah, yeah, we're here, we're here. Yeah. I think they learnt from that mistake because yes. it is a mistake, you know, because it's not jail, it's not lockdown, but you have three months of lockdown. Mm. You got to see your family, but most people didn't. Yeah. So imagine Dave, he, mm. Perth is a long oh, time. Totally, like, man. But, like, totally. I mean, it was all for comedic. You know, it was, yeah, well, it was, it wasn't it was a, a comedy good joke. thing, and you can, <laughs> wasn't you know, a good joke. yeah, but like it could go either way, right? Oh. And that's the risk you take as a comedian. You know, you're really gonna make it funny for a lot of people. Yeah, you know, or or it's not gonna work well. You don't know. You got to try these things. Hey, Mish, if you're watching, I I don't hold it against you. <laughs> <laughs> well, on that note, let's you know that's a positive note. Like, even don't, don't get upset at Hamish. Hey, yeah. Uh, firstly, Caroline and I want to say a massive thank you, and cameraman Dan yeah. wants to say. A massive thank you for taking out the time out of your busy schedule keep an eye out for what kate's working on because it's amazing and when he can talk about it he will because it's amazing like <laughs> it's you Not know like really. we are extremely grateful you took the time out i know we have a special bond because of the meet and greets mm-hmm. but i want to say a big thank you it means a lot to we caroline because really it's yeah. like it's nice to see you it's been three years like i know it's it's good to be back yeah. it's good to see the new store as oh, well thanks man i appreciate your it your journey as well you know post so, Cade doesn't use his Instagram much. She's guilty of that. <laughs> but I will link down his social so you can follow the one post he does a year. But no like, pressure. No pressure. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, but I, he can't, in, in all fairness, he can't share the stuff he's working course. on. So, but when he, he can, keep an eye out. It's amazing. Thank you so much, Cade. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, both of you. Thank you. No worries.